Why are you on the coffee table? Yeah, off. I'm about to get ready for the day. I'm gonna go in with the MAC Face and Body Studio Radiance Foundation. This is like, at one point, this was the only foundation I used. It's so nice. I definitely like gravitate towards my hourglass more these days. This one's just a little bit more messy, but I don't wanna look like I have a whole heap of makeup on today. So I'm just gonna put it on like so. This is like the foundation challenge. <laughs> but honestly, this foundation is beautiful. It looks so natural. The coverage is pretty good considering it's like a lightweight, almost like a tinted moisturizer vibe. And the more you like rub it, it becomes a little bit more full coverage. I just don't love the packaging because it gets very messy. I'm just gonna wash my hands. Also, who remembers this dress? I finally got it again because I wore my other one to death. Literally, it fell apart. And I finally got a new one on Princess Polly. Praise Mother Nature, it's not as hot today. There was a little bit of a breeze this morning. It's still quite warm, don't get me wrong, but it's not like, oh my God, I feel like I'm gonna die. Temperature, that is what it looks like. I need to throw this away. It's so old. This was my routine. I would put the MAC face and body and then I'm gonna go in with the NARS uh, Soft Matte Concealer. I know people say to do this under your foundation, but I prefer to do it over the top, especially if I've got like a really light foundation on, because obviously if I'm gonna go in and use my hands, it's gonna lift the concealer. So on. This is in the color Medium Custard. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of concealer under my eyes. But I hope everyone's doing well. I know Valentine's Day is approaching, which how many times have I had a Valentine? I think like once. Yeah, I think once. And then every other time I've been single. I feel like most of us are fairly okay with Valentine's Day. I feel like there's not a heap of pressure, at least in Australia, to like have a Valentine or anything like that, or even do anything for Valentine's Day. It's definitely like overrated if you are feeling like shitty about, oh no, my camera's gonna die. <laughs> if you are feeling shitty about not having a Valentine, honestly, trust me, don't even sweat it for a second. I'm gonna go run and get a charge off. There we go. I'm obsessed with these Milo bars at the moment. Am I in focus? I'm pretty sure Milo is an Australian thing, right? It's so hard to explain what Milo is. <laughs> Malted barley? Is that what it is? I wanna do very, very minimal makeup. Bronzer lightly in the crease and on the lower lash line. Worth it, worth it, baby. I'm just gonna lightly tap on the concealer. I'm stressed that I'm not in focus, wait. Okay, who has been watching maths? I love how the whole world is obsessed with maths. It's just so entertaining. Like it's just switch off your brain entertainment. Although I feel like I've been getting so many like spoilers on TikTok or just videos kind of showing that certain couples are not together anymore. And I'm just like, no. Even the couples that you think are nice, apparently one of them has a boyfriend on the outside or a girlfriend or whatever. Put a gnarly patch of dry skin there. Yeah, that's kind of annoying that things are getting spoiled already. And it's the second week. I keep forgetting that I've got cream blush. I got a Rare Beauty blush the other day. I used it for the first time yesterday and I was obsessed with how it looked. Um, so I'm so excited. Put in some bronzer. Yeah, I feel like I'm really falling back in love with makeup again. And it's so exciting because makeup truly is like a hobby. I'm gonna slick my hair back, but I feel Always find it easier to do hair, obviously, after makeup, so then you don't ruin the slick backness. Something smells weird. Is it me? I don't know. This is the color that I have. It's in the shade Hope. It was literally the last one left, but I just wanted to get it. And these are obviously known for being insanely pigmented. I think this one's like not too bad. Blend her out. Oh, oh, how pretty that is. And I love how like glowy it is, but it sets down. I also really just want to try their um, like bronzing sticks. What are they called? <laughs> like the contour stick, but I the color that I wanted was out of stock. I love a good like sunburnt, cold kind of 
look. I love it. I feel like it just makes me look so youthful. I tinted my eyelashes the other day, so they're looking like quite long. Honestly, I might even like not put mascara on or just do a very small amount. I'm working with Lash Fridays on Instagram because I've been using them for the past like few months. And I really like it because it's maintained my lashes. I love. I also need to get my eyebrows done because they're just kind of like slugs at this point. Even when I brush them up, they don't really look lifted. They just, because they're so thick, they're just kind of like there. <laughs> I love a thick brow, but I do want something there, you know? Even when I have no makeup on, no foundation, no nothing, I always like to put in brow gel. To another stranger. This is a hairbrush from like a wig that I would have got in literally 2017 or 2000 and yeah, no, it would have been from 2017. And this is like the hairbrush that I use or I use my Tangle Teaser when it's wet. I don't know where I've just kept it. Do I do low or like high? The only thing about the high ones is it will give me a headache. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna opt for low. Let's do some gel. Just a little bit. I find that if I put too much product in my hair, especially since if I like do it a couple days in a row, your hair just feels <laughs> so uncomfortable and I get itchy. Let's slick her down. Can someone please tell me where the heck the cloud perfume by Ariana Grande is like in stock? Because I've been searching for it, I reckon like two months. It is out of stock everywhere i found one store that said they had some and i went and she was like no like we, we just got some the other day and they're already gone are they discontinuing it surely not but i just every price line chemist that i have gone into none of them have cloud which is so random and i'm trying to find it so hard if you know of a store in brisbane that has cloud let me know you can get online, but it's like so much more expensive online than it is to buy from like the chemist. So I don't know. I'm going to continue my hunt. Hopefully one day I stumble upon it. But at this point in time, I got no idea. There is a cloud shortage. <laughs> I don't know whether to cut my fringe back in because it's taken me so long to grow it out to this point. It's such a pain in the ass to style, honestly. But I do love having like a fringe. <laughs> to another stranger. Ooh. Oh, why? Oh, I'm so bad when it comes to just running into things. The other day, I ran into my bedroom door frame. Ran into it so hard, I hit my elbow. It is so sore. Yesterday, I woke up and I was like, oh my god, this feels like it's hit a nerve or something. My dumb ass just runs into door frames. This is the completed except for my lips. Wait a damn minute. Benefit the flora tint. Honestly, this stuff is great. That's gonna be my makeup for today. Oh, I don't have any earrings in. I feel naked. And I put some of these, I think, these are from Jazz Handmade. So pretty. I wouldn't, what would you describe that shape as? It's just like a little like plop. <laughs> I just love the absolute most. I'm gonna put in my little like long ones. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I've been getting content pretty much all day today, but I have these shoes from Princess Polly and they are so high and beautiful. They make me feel so tall and I kind of want to get a measuring tape and see how tall they make me because honestly, I feel like I'm 6'5", but in reality, I'm probably like 5'5". Five five. <laughs> see. How tall are you? I'm 5'7". Uh, I feel like I'm a hair shorter than you. I remember I did this and I like compared myself to celebrities. Oh my god. Like I find a celebrity hire and like put it next to me. So I'm about five foot normally. Okay, so you are a hundred and I'm gonna say 167. Oh my god, I was right. It makes me five foot five. So I these just make me like average height. height. That's so funny. Please tell me I'm 172. What is my life alive? As I'm walking around the house, I'm getting better at it, but oof, twisting your ankle on these, instant death. Well, that's that experiment. Satisfied?
people just don't let you in is honestly okay thank you not i also am going that way so stop being mean and let me in my boyfriend and i slept through the alarm so he just frankly rushed to get to work but of course we have coffee and my 2019 top song spotify playlist i said that in such a weird order i got the lighting i'm so sorry wait is that better if i do this just give me a second oh that's way better okay perfect way better okay all right what the fuck what was i saying what was i saying i'm wearing these new gymshark shorts i really like them i believe they're from the new sweat line they're slightly different to the other ones these are a little bit more thin i think but still same vibe and I, that's what i'm wearing today and then if it's not satan's dungeon i will go for a run this afternoon i will see you at the gym not another situation where i forgot my socks and my earphones i got my shoes and my socks on so we're good there but i'm in the mood for a piercing something that's not a low piercing however any type of cartilage piercing i've ever gotten has never healed yes the first two that i ever got were done with a gun which is like i'm so sorry not good i've had some done properly oh am i meant to be turning here no and they also didn't heal so my dace never healed my tragus just wouldn't heal like was I meant to stick it out a little bit longer? Maybe, but they were just like, not good. Elise reckons a forward helix is really easy to heal, or like a conch piercing possibly. Or maybe I should just get fake ones. <laughs> should get like a fake nose ring off Amazon or something and put it on and surprise my boyfriend. I did have my nose pierced once upon a time when I was like 16. I had it for about six weeks in like school holiday time. I kind of wish I kept it, although I did once put in a fake nose ring and I put a story up and literally everyone was like, no babe. Getting your nose pierced feels like you've been punched in the nose, but it's all focused in one spot. That's how I would describe it. It actually wasn't that bad. It makes your eyes water, yeah, but your belly button, I can't even remember. I got that done when I was 13, which I'm surprised my my parents let me do that, actually, because that's, like, young. I was in grade 8, and the reason I got it was because my friend had got it, and I thought, oh, I want to be cool. So I've had that for just about 10 years now. See you at the gym. now my workout was really good i feel like i did a nice good session of the shoulders a bit of the back lovely job me and i ended up going to the shops and i picked up my favorite perfume of all time i have been like putting off getting this because it's so expensive it's baccarat rouge 540 it's very expensive although some of the perfumes in mecca were like 500 dollars. the intense version of this in the red bottle in the big one is a thousand dollars but this smells so incredibly good and I've been meaning to get it for like a couple months now because I ran out. I got it when I was in London so it kind of reminds me of London. Definitely splurged on that one. I'm gonna make rice paper rolls. This has been my go-to recipe lately so I will show you how I make it. This is some tuna. Um, normally I mix in avocado but I don't have any. This is like, it's like, oh. Who saw that coming? Literally everyone. I just kind of squeeze out the juice because I didn't do that before and it just does not work. I'm just gonna add, you can't see anything. I'm gonna put some of this Perinase in there just to make it a little bit more, what's the word? Creamy. Usual mustard. And I'm gonna try and mix this together. That's gonna be my protein sauce. Side of this cucumber. That's that's a thick cuc. What you know about balance? If you have not listened to Ray's 21st Century Blues album yet, you are missing out. I love her. She is so good. Four minutes left. 
Um, yeah, it doesn't match my hand, no, it doesn't match right now. The next part, so then she actually starts blending on oh, her or her hand in the way that it usually does all together. Yeah. It's really ashy, it's just kind of a raised moment. It's like, I can barely feel such an odd feeling. Now like, she's done. Me. She takes a lot of my face and it's a It looks fine. Boxing bronzer, this is the Revolution Pro Sculpting Bronzer in Bahia. She does a cream girl. I am looking very sad. I'm gonna go out of the garden and show you what it looks like. If any of my dress i got my sephora order <laughs> and my camera's flashing dead lovely jubbly let's see if we can get through this i bought all this with my own money not sponsored first got the huda beauty tan tour i remember when this came out and i think most people liked it the packaging is so pretty i got the color light and i think that'll be a good color for me even when i do have like a fresh fake tan on so that is the first thing i got I also wanted to try the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder. I don't use a whole heap of powder these days, but I'm getting back into my makeup era, so I'm kind of excited. I literally used a sponge to do some of my makeup today, and I have not used a sponge in over two years, I want to say. And I liked it. I only used it to... Oh my god, I thought that was like... I thought it had spilled. I only used it to like blend out my concealer, but I liked it. I do think I prefer brushes overall. I got the color Pound Cake. Oh. I don't know why I'm- Ooh! I was gonna say, I don't know why I'm smelling it. It has a smell. It smells like the, like, foundation, which I used to use all the time. I don't think I have it anymore. It's, like, super, super heavy, so we got that. Oh, this is so exciting. Then I got the Rare Beauty Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer in 170W. Oh, she's light. Oh, that's very, very light indeed. I think that'll work, though. Excuse me. This is not for you. I probably should have got a little bit of a darker shade, but that's okay. I think it'll still work. And then, are you good, Charles? Oh, I also got, no, it's not for you to eat. Lately, she's been on a sock stealing grind. Excuse me. Anytime my bedroom door is open, she's in there stealing socks. She is a sock thief. What do you want to achieve with this? <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you on the coffee table? Yeah, off. What? <laughs> You're too big. Sit, thank you. I'm trying to show everyone what I got. <laughs> Lastly, I used to use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer all the time. So I decided to pick up the Milk Hydro Grip Grip and Set Refresh Spray Grip. That's in French. Set and Refresh Spray. Ooh, this is what she looks like. I love the packaging. Is that not so nice? I wonder if the mist is nice because I don't like using a whole heap of powder on my face, but I still want my makeup to like set. And because it's so hot these days, I know that sounds so weird considering I got a powder, but I don't use like a whole heap of it. I wonder what the mist is like on this. Oh, it's nice. Can you smell that? And I've heard really good things about that. Um, And then finally, I got a little Makeup Forever puff because I thought I need one to use for my powder. Um, I'm pretty sure they sell these at like Chemist Warehouse, so definitely didn't need to get a makeup for everyone. Hi, this is not for you to eat. It's mine. I don't eat your toys. But you know how some dogs have like little stuffed animals that they like sleep with and they cuddle with? Like they might nibble on it, but it's like their cute little toy. Charlie can't have things like that because she'll just consume them. <laughs> so she has to have things like Kongs and indestructible toys. Put some makeup on. Oh, you're so pretty. I think I'm most excited to try the tan tour and I'll let you know how it goes. I'm gonna swatch these real quick. No, no, no. Ooh, the tan tour is very like interesting. It's very, very warm tone. This is gonna have to remain upright at all times. My camera will last for so long on the like zero battery sign. It's got like a little sieve. Wow. Kind of pointless. I wonder if I'm going to 
gonna be able to smell it on my skin. Let's give this a little swatch. I love the packaging. Oh, I think that color will actually be okay as like my highlight shade anyway. And then let's give this a whirl. Ooh, I'm so used to like my Morphe setting spray that just kind of goes keen. three in. I'm gonna try and aim for ten, but we'll see how we go. We got the 10k done. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very sore at the moment. I almost feel as though like I ran yesterday and I'm like sore today, like my feet are pretty sore. I think it's just because my body's just not used to running that distance. This is only the third time that I've run 10k. I'm definitely feeling it. <laughs> Oh no, is it underneath there? If you move, I can get, oh, okay, just sit on my feet. I can get it for you. Hey. There you go. Oh, okay. That's, apparently the toaster's up very high. Okay, well that's a fail. I'm going to use this guacamole. Bit of Nando's Peronais. And that is my weird and wonderful breakfast. It's so interesting to see on Strava and whatnot because that's the app that I use mainly to track my runs. I also have the app that like comes with the Garmin, but it's cool to see how I am like slowly improving. I feel like by the end of the year, I will be a pretty confident runner, surely. I'm still very slow. Like my pace is super slow compared to a lot of people that I see who post their runs on Instagram. We're getting there. You should show everyone your tattoo. Hi guys. Oh, Elise got her tattoo yeah, yesterday. That's okay. <laughs> we went to Haley Blossom in Spring Hill. We. I went for moral support. And it looks really good. I've only really ever been to La Femme and Ivy Ink that one or I think three of them are Ivy Ink? No. One, two, three, four are Ivy Ink. And then all my other ones are from La Femme. But the artist's name was Sarah, hey. And she yes. did a really nice job. And she is so lovely. Mm. She loves it. So I'm a bit allergic to the the oh, it's kind of gone down. The second the skin. skin. Zoom in a little bit. How nice! I can get out of the frame. That's so nice. Like the detail. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's I crazy love the shade. Good. It's so weird how dark it is because obviously, like my other tattoos, Con's other tattoos are so like faded. Yeah. And it literally looks like a sticker because it's like <laughs> like it'll lap pretend. Yeah. Mm. But no, it's good. It feels good. It was like painless as well. Mm. She made it so easy. 